This is the most uplifting, imaginative. Every time I see a Pixar film, I'm saying this has got to be the greatest film. <laughs> and now you've taken me to new heights. I was laughing and crying during the movie. Good, thank you. How did you do that? <laughs> How do you do this? Well, it's a lot of work. Yeah. I mean, we, we, we start by, it's, it's you know your normal process, you build on stuff. So you start with something that you feel like, okay, this has a foundation to something, and in this case, uh, we knew we had a lot of comedy and a lot of action. Uh, we wanted to balance that with a, a heart, you know, and an emotional kind of foundation that would make you care about this guy. And then you start building on things and crafting and rewriting, 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 a lot of rewriting. Ed Asner was a great uh, choice. In fact, he looks exactly like Carl. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny. We had the uh, this uh, maquette, this statue of, of Carl, uh, uh, sculpture, and uh, we brought it to kind of try to woo him to get the part, and he walked in and he looks at it and he goes, I don't look at all like that. You know, we thought, okay, this is perfect. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, the whole character of Carl is so winsome and attractive and made me cry, made me laugh, and he's you. I mean, you, you made that character come alive in a Thank very you. special way. I'm really not that gruff, you know. <laughs> It's, it's, I heard you before. It's I went poppycock. <laughs> oh, you did. Yeah. <laughs> so. Russell, if you don't hurry up, the tigers will eat you. And those tigers in South America. Duology. Ah, for the love of Pete. Go on into the bushes and do your business. Okay, here, hold my stuff. Ed, that is uh, a great movie. And Thank you did a great job as Carl. Please. Well, I, uh, I love doing it, and uh, I, uh, when I saw it at the rap party, I, uh, I was overwhelmed. I was buried under a ton of awe because I, I saw what these, all these other guys did, and what I did is like this. Now, each Pixar film braves new territory, which I'm sure. surprised about. But this has sort of a surrealistic quality to it, an imaginative, uh, wonderful... Yeah, I mean, Pete said early on, this is a film about uh, thousands of balloons lifting a house off the ground. So that required a certain amount of whimsy to the design, uh, which was a little different than we've done in the past. Wally's very photo real, and we wanted to skew this back a little bit more towards uh, animated movies of the past, you know, Pinocchio and Dumbo and so forth, a little bit more painterly in our medium. I, I just see him when he, when he lets go of that house, he's letting go of all those burdens, all right. of those problems in his life. He's yeah. just, he's, he's a new man. He's a new man at 78. You know, it's not too late, right? <laughs> it's never too late for anyone. I think that's one of the great things that Carl learns in the movie is that he feels as though by holding on to all this stuff, he's keeping his wife alive, that he's preserving her memory. But in the end, he realizes that's in here. He's never going to let go of his wife. That's just stuff, you know the people that we love are always with us so